That's master to your brood, dead center in the middle of the screen. That's uh, it's quite Ooh. probably one of the most terrifying things that you can have. I mean, I mean, it's I mean I'd love to say that's like running into a master tier invoker, but it seems like more and more players nowadays are master tier invokers. You calling me out? Is that what's happening? Are you a master tier invoker? Oh well, then yes. <laughs> yes, definitely are. That'll fix. Oh, I know exactly what issue you're talking about. Yeah, that yeah, issue is dumb. Still, I don't know. <laughs> still bound. I'm gonna reboot. Them. Don't worry, Dota's in hard beta still. No all, please. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over the fact that Mike just said no all please. No, he just doesn't want any all chat in this game. Oh, it's great. Great. And apparently that into the grove. Don't know what that means. 30 seconds. Well, I imagine you'll be in soon. I imagine there's going to be a lot of all chat going on, on in this all game, right, despite I, I the fact that, like, again. nobody actually wants to do all chat. You know what? I'm not surprised about seeing there's no tree protector. You're not surprised by that, or you are surprised by that? I'm not surprised about it. That tree got moderately three. nerfed in the last patch. I don't know actually if he got banned, though. I probably should have been paying attention. To he did not get banned. Yeah, I didn't think so. So I'm not surprised that tree didn't get picked up because I've been picking up tree in my pubs as well. But of course, you know, I'm not master tier godlike divine immortal. But even then, like tree still seems a little bit harder to set up early team fights with, especially when people like to play a lot quicker now because those like tier four items, they're scary. Yeah. You don't want to get to tier fours because tier fours is pretty scary. Tier threes is already scary enough. Yeah get the mind breaker your game is pretty much one yeah mind breaker princess knife those two items are really strong uh we are going to see monkeys go mid with this brood mother so they're going to give him that priority they're going to send Rioya uh top on the void spirit instead up against uh fly and arteezy void v void who is the stronger empty person i don't know well i want to say it's probably faceless void because bash is a lot better than remnant Oh, I don't know. 80 with 1.2 stun time, technically. It's still no damage that really comes off of it in comparison to getting a bash. Yeah, the bash is oh. definitely going to be very annoying. Oh, uh, never mind. The bash is 25 damage at one. But it is the chance to proc multiple bashes. That's true. Same. But have you ever had a point in time where you've played Faces Void, you've gotten like eight bashes in a row? Uh, off of one hit? No. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's actually possible to do that. I think it has, like, de-escalating odds after, like, the first two. I mean, it's certainly possible. It's just, like, incredibly unlikely. I anything is possible, that. dude. It's Dota 2. Hey, anything's possible if it says 17%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going to Rioia top. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be in a bit of trouble here. He already used his shield, so the Resident Pulse ain't going to save him. First blood. They do get the first blood. Easy pickings for that. We've seen the shotgun get picked up early now. Or shotgun. We see Cookie getting picked up earlier now. That's, it actually does a lot of damage on Snapfire. Yeah, the, the one two really undervalued spell. The, the one two combo um, is actually insane. A lot of people, when she first came out, were ending up with a little shutter to try and reduce the attack speed. You traded really nicely. But the amount of damage and control that you actually end up getting when you go this 4 4 0 build. Uh, is really strong and very, very highly valued. I think that's what most people are going for now. I don't think I've seen it go 4 4 0, but I'm really interested to see that one. Well, I mean, you still get all at 6, but. Yeah, of course. Ooh, Husky dodging the stun here, but it's not gonna matter. He's just gonna get bashed. It matters not to me. Next time, don't be afraid to leave. Checking in down bottom, it looks like the troll is still doing fairly well. Ramsey's not being able to get too much in terms of farm just yet, but they haven't died down bottom. I think that's the big thing. Crit able to get the ice armor uh, creep and just keeping Ramsey's a little bit tankier against this troll. Storm winning with CS, but I think a lot of those are kind of the spiders, so <laughs> too much to look into there. 
Well, it's actually kind of interesting though because he's it's he's winning by 30 Which is still like there's definitely enough creeps in there. There's no way. It's all just Just that you know what I've uh, Very interested to see just not changed yet. They haven't taken back their bottom outpost yet And yeah, a lot of EG people took that at the it. very beginning of the game I've been seeing that a lot on dire. Oh, I've been getting dope. He's fine. He's rushing Kaya on Abed as well. He isn't getting boots. He has his uh, row of the Magi and he's just rushing into the Kaya. Well, you might be seeing that it's a little bit of a harder lane to kind of manage. He's going to have to keep some mana generation early. Maybe because, you know, he'll have zip early too. He always goes zip at six, so it'll just jump around all the time. I guess against a Brood, it doesn't really matter. She's going to have the movement advantage on you anyway with the whether or not you have boots. It doesn't really matter. So I guess he's just looking to maybe look, make rotations early on. Get the Kaya, get the six, like you said. He's got an Indizrin bottled. So as long as he's able to get a decent timing on that, he might look to just rotate down and get some pressure on this troll. Yeah, we do see the rotate going on here. Ramsey's trying to get away from this one, but slowed up from the shield. But at the same time, so is Troll and trying to throw the Whirling Axes out. And he won't get... Uh, they do it. Wait, how did Troll get the Orb of Venom? Oh, my God. What a... What a bad item. Uh, <laughs> I mean, is it really a bad item? It just got him a kill. Seems pretty good to me. Going yeah, you're not top. wrong. She's no core. It's just dead. You become past invisibility. There's not even a ward that scouted him out there. He just died. Going he the died out there. That doesn't even get the bounty rune. Yeah. Free money. He used the orb a bit too aggressively, and I think he got cookied afterwards, and then a couple of bashes, and... Just get chased out. I gotta change the name because chat's getting mad. What is it? Set as banana hunters? Because it's broccoli hunters. Uh, broccoli hunters. Oh, actually. Might go down in a second here. I just had a red tick. No, don't go down. I promise. I fixed it a long time ago. No, we're good. It was just that one thing. Probably because I had to change the title name. Fair. Radiance courier has fallen. Oh, Crit I did see that one. Crit nipped Crit. that courier in the back line. Pretty yeah. easy for them. They do. He does have a skill point save on DNM right now. He could get ult if he wants to. Back up in top though. Fly's gonna be in a bit of trouble here. Real trying to get the kill. They will manage to find the stun, but I think Fly dies hey, because bash. of this. He will end up going down. Looking for more. Oh, There's the bash. the bash finally. They need. Uh, he doesn't need another bash. He just needs to hit him once. Is he gonna catch him? Is the question. Shield's gonna be there, and he'll salve up. He's good to go. Good play from Broccoli Hunters, getting some kills back onto the map. The Snapfire, she, I think she only just got her boots, so I didn't quite get away there. We're seeing the 1-2-2 two, two build coming in from Rioya. So playing a little bit more mobily now with that Simulate. That is just the worst voice line. That's not even a voice line. I mean, all chat wheel, whatever, whatever you want to call it, it's awful. Uh, Abed looks like does have his Kaya coming out of the carrier. We see three people down here in the bot here. They're trying to go for the kill on the troll. He's got ultimate available if he's trying to get low here. And Ramsey's getting pretty low. They are going to pop the ultimate here to try and catch up. Crit, and he's just getting bursted down. He's just dead. I think Fly's trying to bait and get the shotgun. He needs we'll one more the touch shot. Though. He's not going to have it, though. There goes the spin. At the Whirling Axe as well for both, and they're trying their best though. The Storm is coming in, they want to get the kill on the troll, and they do get the kill on the troll. Fly nice jumps to the high ground. ground. Got shotgun available. Crit's gonna CP mid to keep the tower alive. Don't let Monkeys just run over the game. Monkeys does have his full Midas stun now, so he's gonna be looking to accelerate. Royal Jelly, good find mm. for the brood. Love me that regen. That, uh, 2.5, 1.3. Oh, he goes for the long zip on Abed, though. Looks like he is going to end up catching off by X Mike. That's the Observer Ward coming in. Actually, no. They were were they D-warding? No, that was just, just their own he, ward. Yeah, he yeah. planted the ward as Lich was dying. 
But this this early Kaya on Abed, uh, really, I think paying off to cure him the kill on the troll, and I think definitely helped him with that kill on the Lich. Seeing a lot of people go for that early now in Storm Spirit games. We have some people, some people I play with that end up running Kaya first. But uh, it's it's extremely situational. It's not just something you get off right off the bat. If maybe he just saw that he need more mana, like mana not generation, but mana management against the Broodmother in the mid. Or maybe he yeah, thought he was against somebody else. Uh, you never really know which build a Broodmother is going to go. So he might have thought that Monkeys was thinking about going for a Diffusal Plate to try and mess with the storm and just trying to counteract that as best he can. This crit is going to get just Not run so down. Bad. But uh, I think we have a pretty good understanding of what happened there. He just got bursted down though. We do have Ana coming in. They have the TP available with the Chrono as well. There goes the Chrono, but the Storm is actually just on a little whiff on the outside of it. Meanwhile, they do manage to get the kill on flying at the bottom here. Monkey's forever still will end up going down for this. And it's not exactly worth the trade. They don't get the tower. All the Spiderlings are dead. They can't continue the push. Yeah, they only got Fly for that. So what was that four hero rotation down bottom? And they only get the support. Ramses is still fine. He's got that Spirit Vessel coming in. He's got the Urn all ready to go. Uh, probably just look at, he's just going to look at the tank up, be a tanky snake man. And he, he, they want to slow down the, the game as much as possible. The later this game goes, I think the better it is for EG. They've got an incredible team fight. They've got really well skilling heroes. Storm Spirit. We have an Abed Storm who's having a very good start to the game. Sitting up near the top of the net worth. Root is a little bit higher, but I think that's just to be expected. Another courier getting picked off in the back here. Well, not really in the back, I guess. It was just smack dab in the middle of the lane, but the... Uh, what was in that courier? I think that was just full boots. You can't check couriers anymore. Yeah, because there's too many. Yeah. Unfortunate. Trusty shovel. It's picked up for Brood, sent back home. It's gonna go for the, uh... Gonna go for silence. I like this build. It's really good against storm. the storm. It's pretty normal. Yeah. It's good against storm. It's good against Faces Void in this game as well. It's another way you can interrupt Snapfire channeling the good old Mortimer's Blast or Mortimer's Kisses part. They have smoked up down bottom. They're looking for Ramses. There's three smoke down here. Well, it looks like they're going to end up getting it as they find the jump bottom here. They do have a remnant available, but they, they're going to just expend everything for it. They'll get him. They get him with the coil. Easy pickings. Both Astral Step charges were used, but not, uh, not that bad. Monkey's River was trying his best to end up going for Abed here. God, why even is that? Just so bad. It's it's the, it's, <laughs> it's really awful. Uh, there is of all the master tier up, quotes. Yep, they do have crit coming in here. They do find the brood, but are they going to find him in time is the question. They get the stun, but crit's on the low ground. They get the doom, but he's still going up and down through the webs here, but that doesn't stop the storm spirit, and there's no shrines anymore, so he's just dead. They do have the Lich Ball going through as well, but it doesn't matter. Everybody on BH is extremely low. Rio in the back trying to get away. They find Ix Mike as well, and Rioia is just dead. Abed having a really good start to this game. Despite being up against the Monkeys Forever Brood, he's 4-0-2. He's, he's just going Bloodstone. Like, he's not even going BKB against this Broodmother. Oh, this guy, known for his flashy plays. He's just trusting his team right now. And so far, I don't think EG has done anything to, to prove him wrong. Played very well around him. I think uh, one of the big things actually was Crit getting this ice armor creep early on. And then just every once in a while, he'd rotate over to mid and drop the armor on Abed and just help his lane out a little bit against the spiders. Doesn't do much, but it adds up. Well, I mean, it's six armor and it gives attack slow, so there's, there's just a lot that comes from it. I mean, he only died... No, actually, Storm didn't die a single time from Brood this game. He's actually 4-0, so yeah, like you were saying, that rotation's helping him a lot. Interesting rotation, though. Oh, he with another smoke, and they get the Brood. Mortimer's Kiss is going out. He's just dead. And that's the combo. Team that's what we're going to see every single engagement. Yeah, Why is still smoke? Have, they don't have any cooldowns. It's the only thing. So they could look for a fight here on Broccoli Hunters. 
Although they'd want to fight with Brood, so they'd probably have to wait a little while here. They, you do see that Broccoli Hunters hanging out on the side here, waiting. They might not be able to get the jump. They don't want to risk it quite yet. Puck's got no blink. Obviously, it'd be very weird to have a blink this early in the game. Especially on position four. That's true, but this is a blink puck. I didn't even realize this. Well, I mean, I did, but, you know, didn't four think puck. about it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's been such a common thing now, people running this four position puck. A little while back, you, if you told me that puck was going to be a position four in the next big patch, I would have said you're crazy. Hey, remember when, people, remember when position four invoker was a thing? It still is a thing, isn't it? I've seen I mean, four it's, invokers. It's, it's bad. <laughs> it's still bad. Abed almost gets the solo kill on Husky there, but... Managed Can't to get the orb off the, in time. Top tower Good on that. Radiant's See the first 10 talent already being picked up, or at least there's the first 10 talent I've seen. Yeah, it's the first 10 talent I've seen. There's plenty of people that are level 10 and above at this point. But uh, looks like they trade one for one for towers here. Troll's actually the one to get it though, so DMM's just going to be farming a little bit. He's going for this, uh, he's got a Yasha queued up. I'm, I'm thinking he might end up going for a status resist build. He might go SMY into like a Satanic later on. But I think he might just, for now, uh, think about going Yasha and then either go for the Battle Fury or DKB, depending on where they're at in the game and how Monkeys is feeling. That's the big thing. He's, Monkeys still working away at that Orchid. They want some people to get some kind of catch. Uh, they are, you know, I'm gonna start missing their timing pretty soon. Storm's basically got Bloodstone, got uh, Arteezy working on that his own BKB, so he's not gonna get caught out. And the longer and longer this goes, the better it is for Jesus. Yeah, as as much as I wanted to see Broodmother wipe through this game, there's there isn't much they could really do. Of course, there's still not really a big Broodmother like counter to this, but it's just you don't see Monkeys Forever getting towers you don't see him getting kills he's one in three and he's got silence that's great but it's just he's not getting kills it's just not putting any sort of aggression on this map and we do see though that broccoli hunters trying to line up for the kill on ramses they drop the silence and dnm coming in here looking for the root though do have a counter chrono but it won't save him in time the storm spirit's there but the mortimer's kids is coming through the troll going down he's gonna have to pop ultimate just to get out of this one but now we see void just rooted up here he's actually gonna go down here just purely being rooted up and he'll be fine but no they lose really at the back lines as well Trying to go for more, they have the silence now. This is the first big team fight we've been able to see. Storm Spirit zipping in, trying to find the jump on Troll, but we'll just TP away from that jump there. And now we just see Crit being slowly chased down by Monkeys Forever. No Spiderlings for the initial slow, but still has the other uh, slow going on here, and he's just going down. Long chase, but a really good fight for team team here. They might end up finding the pot. The storms able to get there in time, but we did TD back to base previously, so not quite able to get it. And the, the Doom, I think, coming out on Ryoya there instead of perhaps the troll. I think a good target selection is one of the slipper heroes, but ends up costing EG that particular team fight. They do hold on to the tower though. Everybody was so low and feeling not quite ready to stay against Abed, who was able to get out. That tower does survive. And this is 17 minutes of the game now where Broodmother still hasn't taken uh, her tower that she was in her lane, and she lost hers. Yeah, it's like she might be the top of the net worth, but it just doesn't show. There's no map domination they've been really given. Of course, they got the top tower, but that was just Troll getting it. And, you know, that's just another thing that just Troll kind of does. It's like running a Clinks. It's just something Clinks does. Yeah. And now they might be finally making the aggression for this mid tower. They've got everybody here. They expend the fortification. They've got Troll with maximum fervor stacks on it. And it it's dead one way or another. It's going to be bad. Does it get the last hit, though? Woo. Abed's got his bloodstone done. Ah, a couple hundred gold. Apparently I'm bad at math. They are going to look to maybe catch Arteezy down in the bottom lane. Rioya. No, no Yules on him, though. Yeah, not yet. He's working on it. He's one item away from it. Just gets the ring and he'll go. Yeah, 
smoke up from EG to heading down towards our TZ. He does have Chronosphere ready in about 10 seconds. Do see time dilation. Flips the courier here. That's the Yules. They do manage to get the kill on Mike in the mid. They're actually up in the. Uh, no, yeah, in the jungle here. So now there's no support for Ryo, even if they wanted to. He steps once. He does have TB. And our TZ is just going to give up. He's not going to. Not going to press the issue. He's got a Quelling Blade. He could have done it. In Good. like a matter of like eight seconds. But of course, he could just astral step again. Yeah. It's not, it's not worth the time. There is Bloodstone now on the Storm Spirit. He's looking for some kills, going for the BKB next against the Silence on Monkeys, who is close to his own BKB actually. We're going to have a lot of really close BKB timings here. <laughs> yeah, I think Trolling. the BKB has changed this immensely. I mean, sure, you can still get doomed, but like BKBs. Abed zipping in to just nip 80% of those spiderlings. The game has slowed down, but it's 5k net worth lead for evil geniuses right now. Arteezy able to pretty much solo farm this bottom lane. Wow. Feels like Team Team are grouped up around this top half of the map a little bit more. Not quite able to diversify their farm income at the moment. 20 minute outposts are coming up. Let's see if there's a contest for that as we go for longs, yeah. For one for one, they go for the Doom on the Troll here and they want to try and get him. He's the primary target. There's only one target to get. And Troll's just like, I guess I'll just hit things. Uh, there's nothing he could do. DNM will just go down. They get the trade. That's the good Doom. And trying to take the outpost back and they get the outpost. So no bonus XP for Broccoli Hunters. Yep. Uh, first of the Bloodstone charges from Storm. Not exactly off to an insane snowball start, but an overall really good game from Ovid so far. 6-0-5, still hasn't died. I think he's the only one, yep, he's the only one who has not yet died on the map. So going to end, I think, uh, end up being a big priority for Broccoli Hunters if they can get that jump on him before he has that BTB. Well, it's funny too, because he's not even top network. He's currently number three in the network. Arteezy's actually leading over him by about 1.5k here, and it's because he's just got BKB as well. But it's just, you can see what the Storm is actually doing in this game. He's putting a lot of aggression on this map. His presence is practically globally known. And then if that doesn't help, then you got RTZ Void with good old Mortimer's Kisses. Which, gonna find the kill on IX. Mike here getting caught out again. It's easy to get the clip and kill on that one. Looks like they might just rotate this into mid here. They still have Chrono. They want to kill off these uh, before they get over to him. But maybe this is the Roche. It's dead now. EG does have good fighting around the pit, but they don't actually take the Roche that quickly. They don't really have a medallion built on anybody, and it, it is going to take them a while to do. He's going to get spotted out by a Spiderling as well. They're heading uh, over. Yeah, Broccoli Hunter smoked up. It's just what can they really do outside this pit, though, is the question. They throw the Remnant in, it catches nobody. They're looking for the jump on screen immediately. The silence is there, but the Chrono goes down. Mortimer, there it comes the kisses. Coming in here, they get the kill on the Void Spirit. No, they don't. The Yield's gonna save for one second, though. Offit clips in the back lines, finds Ix Mike, and Liv would get that kill first. Had no ball for that one. They get three. They're still looking for more. Rioya, very low HP. He's gonna be back in the mid. They're escaping now, but they're going for the real target. They won monkeys. He's going down. And now they'll finish up this Roshan. It's almost dead too. It was a good coil, but the lack of proper actual stuns onto this void, they, they, they needed Lich, I guess, to be there to really lock down this void because he, I think he got coiled, but it didn't matter. He just poppy can be turned. And actually, I lied. He didn't even poppy can be at RTZ. If that's something. Yeah, yeah, nothing to fear. He chronoed all the people that needed to get chronoed. Or, he chronoed all the people that would have been a problem if he needed to use BKB. Yeah. Ah, that... That is, that is... I just hope they don't pick Brood again for the next game. <laughs> as much as I want to see, you know, Monkeys Forever absolutely dominate, hopefully, on his heroes the second time around. It'll work, yeah, but, like... Don't know. Ah, I don't know about that 25. There's so many better 25s. Even Skyrath is better. Oh, uh, they find Rio, yeah. Yep, going. He's gonna get his storm brother. Guys, no special oh, audio for that head. one. Twenty-one bloodstone charges on him. He's absolutely out of control now. 
Aegis picked up. He's going to have his BKB very soon. And once he has that BKB, I don't know that Team Team can recover this game. They're going to need just like an incredible set of circumstances in order to be able to do that. Like they need to like coil him as the Lich stares and then use the Lich stare to break the coil. It's like the only way that I think they can actually kill him. Yeah, there's basically there's there's no chance. And it's just sorry, I had to cough to me. It's just uh Don't die. There it is. Am I gonna die? I am 24. I am the perfect picture of health. <laughs> How dare you? Uh well, PG no, will not. force the glyph and then just rotate to top, take the safer objective. They don't want to force anything too crazy. They know they have the lead. They know they're feeling comfortable. No reason to risk it. And they are paid for their patience with an up at arcane room. Oh, boy. He is ready for this one. And troll for the next just... engagement. Like you were saying, I think Brockline Hunters just need to win the next team fight. And I don't think they will. I don't think they can. The troll has to go Battle Fury. He, well, he was he started building it, and then I think that the was around the time that Abed he got that zipping in, going for IX. Mike Curie is going to get silenced up, but it's not going to change anything. The coils are already going out there, and Mike is just going down here. Nothing they could do. They're looking for a kill on Monkey's Forever, though. Monkey's Forever dropping his BKB. It's not going to change anything, oh, though. He gets fast, and Mortimer kisses coming on in. We're going to get on two kills on that one, and they're going to go for more. They find Husky, and they're going to clean up this mid tower and clean up. The racks and hell, maybe clean up the game. Unless they GG'd and I didn't see it. <laughs> no, they haven't GG'd just yet. They're still holding on, trying to figure out how they can win. There it is. There it is. There it is. I was only confused because I saw Poison Nova go off on Venomancer and I'm like, why didn't he just do that? They didn't call GG. They had buybacks. Yeah, I think they might have just been talking about. Uh, like what what they want to address to the next game. Sometimes you know the game's lost, but you don't want to call it yet. You're just like, okay, how do we move forward? Adjust into the next.